And now uh, we can continue with the second part of uh, this pitching session. It's a lineup of uh, innovators who uh, are driving innovation initiatives, which uh, will have huge uh, impact on the region in the future. Those are very recent initiatives and because they are bringing together all actors of this regional innovation ecosystem, I would like to invite on the stage Mr. Jiří Hlavenka, Regional Councillor for Science, Research and Innovation, who will provide you more context and vision behind this uh, light up. So the floor is yours. Hello everybody. People say that uh, in our region we are a bit obsessed by innovation. They are right. Why? Because we believe that innovations are one of the main driving forces that lead to the success. Which can be business success, which can be success in research, which can be success in education, which can be success in the personal fulfillment. Uh, of course, there are some, some other strong drivers for success, for example, money. But let's put that aside for the moment. But there is also another thing we are a bit, bit obsessed or maybe even paranoid with, and this is constant change. It was perfectly mentioned in the opening speech by Daria. It was it a great intro, a great, great bridge to what I want to say now. We try to anticipate what's coming on, and we try to react quickly to be there sooner than the, the things occur. Yeah, and that's why I'm opening this innovation leaders, because the older project, this is my project at all, are presenting new things. Uh, we, we'd like to bring a new things every time as we, as, as we are able. Yeah. So there will be things that maybe are not such groundbreaking things, but they are important to improve each will, is each, each one has an ambition to improve this environment by a significant chunk. Uh, of course, they may or may not succeed, it, it, it is always, even when they not succeed, we can learn and do that better, or at least we can say we tried. And I have the personal question to all the presenters who are already there in the queue, to make just not uh, make your life, uh, life too easy. Uh, how is AI helping you to do this innovation? Because the question is not if but how? Thank you. Not an easy question for all the presenters coming. In this session, you will hear five presentations and we will start, uh, I will invite the first one very soon. Just some technical note, each presenter will get three minutes. I'm the timekeeper and I will be strict. So please welcome with a big applause the first presenter, Radka Martinkova, and she will introduce the regional microscopy platform. Why should a Nobelist recommend visiting Brno region to any student taking seriously their career in the microscopy? The story started 75 years ago when the first electron microscope arrived in Brno and four students started to cooperate. Today, it's over 5,000 people cooperating in microscopy. Every third electron microscope worldwide comes from Brno. And microscopy creates significant values for the region. Three established producers, several startups, research and educational institutions, they all supported by regional authorities, cooperate in Brno region microscopy community. And it's no coincidence that such something appeared just in Brno region. In Brno region, we have a rich tradition in industry and technology, in science and education, but we have also our own dialect, very specific sense of art, and fortunately, also corresponding sense of humor. And we also have enormous passion for community life. We are just close to each other, supporting and helping each other. We are unique and we want to be more. And that's why a year ago, a regional microscopy platform appeared. 
a voluntary organization where we joined forces to cooperate in four strategic areas. Supporting the community, developing regional supplier chains, transfer the research results into real life, and tell to the world about that all. We are binding all the threads of small cooperations into one thick rope and pull it together to push the boundaries of microscopy, to deliver world's best products, and to support and educate talents. To achieve that wherever worldwide anyone mentions microscopy, the first association will be Brno region. Do you like this vision? Do you want to join us in pushing the boundaries of microscopy and science further to make the future more sustainable? You're warmly welcome. By the way, the next opportunity to meet us, a showcase of microscopic community and following networking is coming soon. And we are looking forward to meeting you there. So, see you soon. So, I, can, I guess you can address the topic of AI during the coffee break with Ratka. I would like to invite the second presenter on the stage. This time, Tomasz Meislik will tell you more how he plans to promote STEM in the South Moravian region. Big applause for Tomasz Meislik. Yeah. Right. Thank you very much. Uh, do you guys know what does STEM stands for? It's a science, technology, engineering, and maths, and I will use the shortcut uh, in, in the next few minutes, a few times. So science, technology, engineering, and math. But let's start with the context. Uh, this is the birth rate of the Czech Republic uh, in the last 100 plus years. As you can see, the, uh, the birth rate ranged from 250K per year to 90K per year. With the small, uh, small peak right now that is already over, we can state a fact that the new generation that is coming is coming in the smallest numbers ever. The second fact uh, is that the percentage of the university students majoring in the STEM fields has declined from almost 35% to 28% in the last 20 years. And do you guys believe that uh, we need talented STEM graduates uh, to bring more innovation and economic growth to the region? If yes, these guys, you are not alone. These guys think it's believe it too. They are already confirmed partner of the project, partners of the project, with both the financial and, and in-kind support uh, for the project. But let's talk about STEM project. What, does it, uh, what should it do? The expected impact of the project is to increase the number of STEM graduates at Brno universities by 30% in 10 years. But we need to start with the applicants, right? So the same numbers, 30%, but in five years. How are we going to do it? We want to start with the data. We need to understand the youngsters, when they are making decisions about their future careers, who is influencing them most, how, are, how is it all connected so we can plan the activities accordingly. Then we need to have a bright, bright minds that will work with the data. Uh, we want to have STEM ambassadors uh, from primary schools, secondary schools, uh, companies, and also, also informal uh, promoters. But the activities are the core of the, of the project. So the first one is about focusing on, on already running activities that are there. There is a lot of STEM activities in the region, and we want to kind of connect them each, each, to each other so they can support each other and we can, we can bring more value with the, with the, with the same, uh, same uh, budget. Next, this is, there are the new activities. Uh, according to the data and the, the networking groups of the STEM ambassadors, we want to create and bring up new activities that will focus the, the most effective points in the, uh, in the young's minds. And then there is also a communication campaign, which is very important uh, to remove the barriers between the STEM and young, uh, youngsters in, the, um, in their decisions. We are starting very soon, uh, in Mar March 2024. We want to have at least five another corporate partner and one government partner. So if you are interested, uh, please join us. There is no miracle around the corner. We need to work it uh, with our, uh, our way. So thank you very much and join us. <laughs> Thank 
the next uh, regional initiative and innovation leader uh, who will be invited on the stage is Jan Barta. And Jan will tell you more about the regional initiative of uh, network of energy managers. So, big applause for Jan Barta. Well, good afternoon. Uh, Irka, just watch my slides. You will see the basic help of AI uh, in my work. Well, okay, let's play a bit. Imagine you are a mayor of a small town or village in the South Moravian region. Okay, uh, you are responsible for a lot of things like pavements, budgeting, cats and dogs, neighbors, etc. But you are also responsible for your town hall, schools, kindergartens, public lightning, maybe some residential buildings. And all these buildings and facilities are consuming a lot of energy. Once a year, you receive an energy bill, usually a very high one. You are shocked yeah, that you have to pay for it, right? And you are thinking about what to do, how to make the energy bill lower next year. Do you have someone on your team who understands energy? Can you even afford such a man? And can you trust all the offers of uh, companies claiming to help to solve your problem? Okay, what about having some independent specialist, some energy manager, someone that will identify where the most energy is being consumed and help you reduce it? They will also assist you finding a specialist, some suppliers uh, for uh, energy audits, for energy concepts, planning of building renovation and so on. And they will also check the supplier's work and results. Yeah, that would be great. And these people are extremely busy, as you can see. And now realize there is over 600 similar mayors in our region with the same problems. According to our survey, most of them are interested in reducing their CO2 emissions. And that's where we INAC come in. We are now preparing a network of energy managers, uh, people that will help you reduce the energy uh, consumption and costs uh, in your mun municipality. And uh, yeah, we are established by South Moravian region. So the main effort for us is to make this energy manager independent and objective. And of course, we are doing it uh, because our main goal is to bring South Moravian region closer to region neutrality, to climate neutrality, and reducing energy, and energy consumption uh, along with uh, renewable energy sources is one of the main means how to reach this goal. So I ask for your help. We are finding capable energy specialists. So if you know someone like that, just get in touch with me. So time's up. Thanks for your attention and enjoy the rest of our conference. And because the coffee break is closely uh, ahead of us, so I would like to invite Michal Lorenz on the stage and he will tell you more about the semiconductor cluster. Yeah. So. Dear Fads of Innovation, uh, let me uh, introduce uh, our opportunities in Czech Republic, which are represented by really unique knowledge and also outstanding talent. We would like to use these resources for challenging opportunity and especially to utilize our R&D for innovations which could bring a really sustainable future and better world. Just to answer to you, so the pictures are modified by artificial intelligence. So this is our original chips. This could be Leonardo da Vinci. So our approach is big bet on semiconductors. This means that we would like to really complexly utilize all resources which we have. So we are fully aligned with current priorities in European Union, especially to uh, CHIP Act. Uh, we are really proud that the uh, Czech Republic is uh, successful 
in IPK, important program of uh, common European interest. So including Brno, we uh, receive uh, funding for totally four programs for microelectronics. We are also focusing on the development of the concept of new semiconductor pilot lines. And uh, we are working uh, together with uh, other stakeholders in Czech Republic on the National Semiconductor Competence Center. Uh, Czech industry in semiconductor has ambitious to have some first of kind facility. So this mean really unique approach for fully vertically integrated semiconductor line in, in Czech Republic. So together with uh, around 40 competent uh, subjects, we are working with Ministry of Industry and Trade on the national semiconductor strategy. So to support all these activities and uh, keep resources effectively utilized, we have founded Czech National Semiconductor Cluster in Brno and uh, 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 necessary international networking is secured by our partnership with uh, Silicon Europe and uh, the European uh, Semiconductor Region Alliance. So we, we are bet on the cross cooperation among the industry and also academic research. And especially we are focusing also on the networking around the regions. So our current key case is uh, the pilot line. So really innovation concept uh, within the uh, CHIP Act. We presented uh, two national pilot lines uh, within the July workshop review with European representative. And recently in November, we came with the unique joining of uh, our two approach to just one for Weinbanger Semiconductor, which adding the future approach for the modular electronics. So thanks a lot all for, to all supporters. So big applause. <laughs> And last presenter, on, but last but not least, on the stage, I would like to invite Maria Lungova uh, from Brno Expat Center, and she will tell you more in her presentation about international talent. Every year, every year, over a thousand highly skilled internationals come to Brno region for work. Some of them might be employed by you. And as with every new employee, you've probably explained their job, their responsibilities, company culture, rules of the office, but well, basically everything that happens between nine to five. But what about after work? What about the remaining 16, 16 hours of their day? What if they come with questions like, where can I find an English speaking dentist? or I have an American driving license, can I drive around with that? Can you answer those questions? Well, we at the Berner Expat Center can and often do. We are a public service financed both by the municipality and by companies employing skilled internationals. We are nothing new. The city has long realized how important it is to provide support, to attract and to keep internationals in Brno, international talent. But talent is in high demand everywhere. The technological hubs, knowledge industry centers all over the world are competing for skilled workers. So keeping, retaining those employees that you have won is even more important now. Talent retention is the new talent attraction. That brings me to our new project. We recently zoomed in onto one problem that often makes internationals leave too soon, namely their wives or husbands or partners. Because no matter how happy you make your employee between nine to five, if the rest of the family isn't happy in Brno, they will leave the city and your company. The old saying goes, happy wife, happy life. It's the 21st century, so we know it's actually happy spouse equals happy life. And in our case, happy and longer life in Brno. So, the thing is, most of those spouses follow their partner to Brno without a job position of their own. So we offer them career consulting, 
networking, socializing, business advice, anything to help them find their own purpose in Beno. Try this with us. For a moment, stop focusing on the nine to five issues and try to think of the ways to help keep your international talent in Beno by fo focusing on the 16 remaining hours of their day and how you can help soften the challenges they face there. If you don't have any ideas, come talk to us. If you do have some ideas, well, talk to us too. Thank you. That's it for the session. What a right it has been. We have seen 10 presentations, 10 people with various background, visions, projects in various business life cycle stages. As I believe, the one thing they have in common is entrepreneurial mindset. They are sensitive towards challenges in their surroundings and they are not afraid to go into the action. So I believe they all will leave the handprint in this region and we will see them as the future stars of the region.